Hello, welcome to this channel. My name is Nyamcha Boateng. I'm glad to have you here again on this channel. And I have, a, I have here with me a staunch Arsenal fan from Ghana, West Africa. And he's here to talk to you about Arsenal versus Fulham. And it was 2-2, Arsenal 2, Fulham 2. And this is match day 3 of the EPL season. Ben, what's up? A day champion. Uh, how do you see the game? A very bad performance from Arsenal. I didn't expect them to draw against uh, Fulham, seeing that uh, we are on to win. Uh, we want to win the uh, the Premier League, and this is not how to 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 send out messages to your other people, other clubs in the Premier League. So I expected more from Ateta, seeing with what he had done with Arsenal and the money he has spent in this current uh, uh, market. So bad game, bad performance from all the the players and, and the coaches. Which player stood out for you from us at us now? Uh, it goes to I think Fabio Vieira was the one who made the change. The change, yes. It was a good change from Fabio Vieira. So Fabio Vieira was the one who stood out in this game, and I think we have we have still been complaining about our goalkeeping department around Ramsdale. I don't know why he considered such a goal from uh, Pereira in the first place. The one minute, one minute. Yes, because, yes, we lost the ball. We lost concentration in the first minute. And I believe that um, you could have done something about the goal, you understand? So, uh, Ramsdale... I, I'm sure he didn't know where to go when the ball was coming. No, no, the ball was coming as a, as a goalkeeper. You need to know how to position yourself. That's why we bought David Raya. So, Ateta, you, you know what to do. You understand if Ramsdale Ramsdale costed uh, cost uh, Arsenal the Premier League last season, and people were blaming Thomas Partey and all those things, and he has still begin began with all what he, he wants to do again and, and and send us back again, so that people will say after all the spending. So I expected Ramsdale to have saved the first goal, so that he could have kept our head in the game. So I, so Fabio Vieira did well, but I think Partey should have also stayed in this game. I don't know why Teta insist on playing him at right back and instead of him to partner we saw in the preseason how well he performed with Declan Rice in the middle, the, the middle of the park even against Man City yes so everybody we want to see him we have Gabriel why would you break the uh, Gabriel and Saliba partnership it was perfect in the last season so I expected him to do more this particular season with Gabriel and Saliba but we have, I've seen him trying to push Ben White into the center back role and puts Patty. It, it, it's a no no for me from Ateta, yes. Patty should play right back still. No, no, why would it, I have a problem with Ateta? You are not Pep. You see, for example, the coach he played against, Marco Silva, he he brought in, I think, Calvin Basset to replace Adarabio or something. Yes. And that's why he's playing the 4 2 3 1 formation or 4 3 3 formation. That's what he normally does. He replaced Rahul Menez with Mitrovic. And we've seen him playing the same formation. But I don't know what's wrong with Ateta. He wants to just, just be tweaking formation with Pep. Pep plays 3 2 3 2 3 2 4 1. That's what he's been playing. He will not tweak any formation. If the formation works for him, he either brings in Vadio and replaces him with Nathan Aki. That's all. But we've seen Ateta. Ateta wants to. Uh, to 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 be a master tactician and show that yes, he's, but you are not up there. Look at Jurgen Klopp. The top coaches they just play their normal formation. Klopp will play his four three three and win the game and go. But I don't know what's wrong. With, no, but I don't know why you want to blame Ateta here because the last season we were talking about Ateta trying trying to play the same formation, playing the same lineup. I'm thinking he wants to try and change something, give Kiro the chance, give White the chance, give other players a chance. That's why he's doing that. I understand. But playing Pate as a right back is not a... It's, it's a I don't understand Ateta playing uh, Pate as a right back. Inverted right back position. Your best midfielder in the in the squad and you play him at the right back position. What's wrong with you Ateta? What's wrong with you Ateta? We've seen Pate, we're praising Pate in, in, uh, in the preseason and the match against Manchester City. That Pate is the best midfielder, far more better than uh, Casemiro and far better than, uh, what do you call him, uh, Rodri. But you insist on playing him as right back, meanwhile, Ben White is there. So, if I don't blame Ateta, who should I blame? If I don't blame the coach who makes the call, we are, we are struggling. I expected him that whilst he was bringing Fabio Vieira, what was Harvest doing in the game? Pulling Havertz, bringing uh, Fabio Vera, push, uh, what do we call him, Pate to the midfield. And we need a control in the midfield. Declan Rice cannot do all the job. That's what that's what United are struggling with currently. Playing uh, Messi Mount and Casemiro together. Oh, no way. So why do you insist on playing Pate as an inverted right back? 
Ateta, you played Pate at right back against the uh, match against Crystal Palace. Palace. And we struggled to get a win at, at, at their home grounds. Why must you, you know, uh, try and play Pate, your best midfielder, uh, at the same place? You understand? So, I blame Ateta for putting it. He's the one who makes the course. And I think it's, t- it's time uh, Pate, you know, gets the respect he deserves. He deserves you know, on, on Twitter, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a strong Twitter fan. Arsenal fan blaming Party for the first goal. How do you, how, no, how do you blame Party? Uh, that that's, that was a miss pass from I think Saka, Saka from the back. So it's not Party. So but, but how do they bring Party? To yes, me? because in, in I think the issue with the, those all those you can all those girls matter and all those. But the point I think Party now you know it's either he leaves the club or he he gets the respect that he deserves. He deserves because he's their best player. Look at Odegaard. He doesn't. Odegaard has not performed. And well. what happened with Odegaard? Odegaard wasn't passing the ball. He was only shooting. You understand? So uh, I think it was a, uh, a, a command given from the from their coach. So I think Pate now should get. A, there is no way they will bring Declan Rice at the right back position. Never. You understand? So why must your best? But you know, comparing Declan Rice, Declan Rice and Thomas Pate, Pate has flair more than Declan Rice. So no. it's easier for you to put Pate at right back than Declan Rice. That's what I'm saying. But he's your best. But you know, if there was a if there was a tactical change where we were putting. Declan, uh, who's going to play centre back, like the John Stones rule is going to be Declan Rice ahead of Thomas Partey. Do you understand? I understand. But the the English media would have, you know, uh, told Ateta to go and get a centre back than to play him at the centre. But what I'm saying on, back on the Partey issue, Partey is your best midfielder and your best player, literally in the team. Last season, apart from Bukayo Saka, who performed, if you are, if you are to ask me who was the best player, I would have said it is Thomas, Thomas Partey. So he needs to now command the respect that he deserves. In the club, but no. Back to the right back position. Do you think uh, Ateta will play Jorginho as right back? I can't. He can't play that position. I think it, it goes back to uh, the role that he used to play back at Atletico Madrid okay. yes. and all those. But Ateta needs to realize that Pate is aging, okay, okay. and in those times, he need to. Uh, uh, what do we call him? Diego Simeon had. Uh, different kinds of midfielders in there so he had to fix sympathy those times he was younger and vibrant yeah. you understand right back, very good so trying to and my problem is it's your best move for that as we talk no. so why don't you place him alongside the camera right and see and, and and try and put in uh, when you need a striker who to put or uh, goals more you bring in habits or something but why would you raise party at a right back position where he can't have control and can't and can't play more when he, he met uh what do you call him ilanga against the match against Nottingham Nottingham forest yes he was almost exposed yes. you understand so he was he was exposed so going forward i think ateta must you know be very very uh intent on what decisions he can make and not, not play party it's either you put him on bench so that he gains the respect that he has already because we, we will not mention John G, georgino's name or anybody's name if the person is not playing but immediately you bring the person in and play him out of position he begins to you know get backlashes in especially especially when we lose those matches you understand so i blame ateta for all those things yes what are your thoughts on kai havertz uh, in kai havertz i think he's also been played out of position you understand that was the same problem with uh, graham potter and thomas to help playing him out of position he's a number 10. he needs to play in that role so the four two three one Odegaard. what the guard plays and literally uh, like you can't you can you can't put your 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 creative mid for that who's in uh or they got on the bench to your, your captain too exactly so i think uh harvest they need to make a firm decision on harvest as to if they're going to play him as as a as a false nine or play him in the number 10 role because literally he can't help us he's not the replacement for jacka no 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 he can't play that role so i think ateta is trying to fix him in that jacka role and it's not working yes your final thoughts on the game? My final thoughts is that if we are to win the Premier League and go for and send messages across the other clubs in the Premier League, the point is we need to be very, we need to, you know, build that mentality that we, we want to win. Look at teams like uh, uh, Liverpool, teams like Manchester City. Look at the mentality, the kind of mentality they play with, you understand. But look at us now, we were one note down and our coach you know was confused and was just throwing players in like not knowing what to do fabio vera here but, but, but is good so going for i think you should start him i mean ahead of gabriel jesus and all those oh and my problem with martinelli <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought ateta was going to pull out martinelli and bring in um, about uh, and bring in gabriel jesus uh what, what do you call him in rather but he pulled out trossard 
You understand? So I think we need to make some decisions going forward. Ateta is very stubborn on his decision. So going forward, we need to make some decisions. We are going to. This is Fulham, and see how we struggled. We have not met Liverpool yet. We have not met Brighton, West Ham. Still, how West Ham is performing, we have not met them yet. So we should be very intent on the uh, the type type of game we play and win games. Yes. Do you think Man City will drop points tomorrow against she- Sheffield United? It's not happening. It will never happen on any day. No, 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 no. It will not happen. So, Thank you for watching this video. I'll be bringing you back to back football content on YouTube. The best is yet to come. Bye.